हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल एग्रीकल्चर साइंसेज विद आलोक द्विवेदी सो टुडे विल डिस्कस ऑन अ टॉपिक एग्रोफॉरेस्ट्री एंड एग्रोस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड विल डिस्कस हियर अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एग्रोस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड एग्रोफॉरेस्ट्री फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एग्रोफॉरेस्ट्री हेयर वॉट इज एग्रोफॉरेस्ट्री सो एग्रोफॉरेस्ट्री मीन्स द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड द फॉरेस्ट्री ऑन द सेम पीस ऑफ लैंड इज नोन एज द एग्रोफॉरेस्ट्री such as the production or the cultivation of agricultural crops as well as the forest crops or the forest trees on the same piece of land is known as agro forestry so it was a it is a deliberately or you can say deliberate land use management where we can grow two types of two species on the same piece of land such as forest trees and the agricultural crops so this is a deliberate or the judicious plan to grow a to grow plant as well as to manage the soil so who was the father of modern agroforestry he was pk nair pk nair was the one who coined it or who named agroforestry we will discuss here about the beneficial effects of agroforestry what are the effects of agroforestry so okay we will discuss here point by point so first point is to meet the demand of fuel fodder and timber for the increasing population as we are seeing that day by day the population increasing by percentage so uh, to meet their requirement so so to meet the requirement we need to grow more and more crops so to so the agroforestry has been adopted so this reduced or this uh, has reduced the demand till some extent second point is to reduce the biotic pressure on existing forest so every living organism needs a habitat and shelter to reside on a particular place so this agroforestry process or this agroforestry phenomena has reduced somehow the biotic pressure on the existing forest third point is to obtain the maximum output in the term of yield from the same piece of land this process this agroforestry has also given or has been observed that it has also yielded much more than the normal field the normal crops grown on the same uh, piece of land while on the same piece of land if the agroforestry <coughs> sorry management has been adopted so the where we practiced both agroforestry and where you practice normal so agroforestry cultivation the cultivation of crops and the cultivation of crops on the same piece of land was productivity was more higher than the normal cultivation so this was the third point if you talk about the fourth point to develop the wasteland and degraded land by planting the suitable tree species with the agricultural crops so where the lands are where the lands have become barren okay there the lands have become barren or the wasteland or the degraded land where there is no cultivation is possible so in those lands agroforestry can be done such as first of all you have to grow some forest trees you have you have to cultivate some forest trees there are some forest trees which can also be grown on that barren lands so slowly slowly they will regain their nutrients and then you can practice further your agricultural cultivation on that particular land so fourth point is to reduce the environmental pollution by planting tree species next point is to reduce the soil erosion next point is to increase the soil fertility so these are all easy points so next point is to create the availability of raw material to the local people and to for the industrial process for the industrial purpose next point is the uh, very important point it also creates the opportunity to the employment so agroforestry is also important to provide the opportunity for the employment so now we will discuss about the agroecology we have discussed agroforestry now agroecology and please keep the mind keep the mind or those points uh, which are very beneficial to differentiate these two topic okay agroforestry and agro Agroecology. As I have told you about agroforestry, now keep that also in mind. What I have told you, and now uh, comparison. Now do the comparison between agroecology. So agroecology is the scientific study of grasses. So what is agroecology? It is the study of grasses. Whereas agroforestry, what was? It was the whole, the grasses as well as trees which comes under the forest. Graminology. Graminology is the scientific study of two grasses. What the difference between agroecology and graminology? Astro, agroecology. Agroecology is the study of grasses but not a particular grasses but graminology graminology is the scientific study of grasses not grasses true grasses to true grasses 
ओके नोटेड समवेयर दैट ग्रामोलॉजी इज द साइंटिफिक स्टडी ऑफ ट्रू ग्रासेस सो द ग्रास लाइक स्पेसीज ऑफ सेच फैमिली रस फैमिली बडरस फैमिली कैटेल फैमिली सो दीज आर सम फैमिलीज विच आर इंक्लूडेड इन द ट्रू ग्रासेस सो विच कम्स अंडर द कैटेगरी ऑफ ग्रामोनोइड और द ग्रामोनोलॉजी सब्जेक्ट एग्रोस्टोलॉजी हैज सम इम्पॉर्टेंस इन द मेंटेनेंस ऑफ वाइल्ड कंजर्वेशन वाइल्ड ग्रेज लैंडस एग्रीकल्चर अर्बन एंड एनवायरमेंटल हॉर्टिकल्चर टर्फ ग्रास मैनेजमेंट एंड सॉर्ड प्रोडक्शन इकोलॉजी एंड द कंजर्वेशन सो दिस इज ऑल्सो प्रूवड वेरी बेनिफिशियल फॉर द कंजर्वेशन ऑफ नेचुरल रिसोर्स एंड कंजर्वेशन ऑफ वाइल्ड लाइफ सो दीज आर सम फैमिलीज आई विल सो यू वन बाई वन विच कम्स अंडर द एग्रोस्टोलॉजी और द ग्रासेज विच आर ग्रोन और द द वन हु गेट्स द स्कॉलर इन एग्रोस्टोलॉजी वन सो दे हैव टू रीड ऑल दीज ग्रासेज अबाउट पोएसी पोएल्स फेस्टुका अरुंडिनोडी सो हाउ दिस एग्रोस्टोलॉजी और द एग्रोफर्स्टी हैव प्रूव इट बेनिफिशियल सो वी हैव ऑब्जर्व दैट फ्रॉम द नॉर्मल एग्रीकल्चरल प्रोडक्शन वेयर एग्रोफर्स्टी हैज बीन अडोप्टेड इट हैज गिवन द मोर ट्वेंटी परसेंट हायर ईल्ड दैन द नॉर्मल वन एंड द नाइट्रो फिक्सेशन बैक्टीरिया और द नाइट्रो फिक्सेशन ट्रीज आर देयर इन द फॉरेस्ट विच हेल्प टू फॉर द नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन नियर अबाउट फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड के जी नाइट्रोजन पर हेक्टेयर पर ईयर सो दिस इज ऑल्सो द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट एग्रोफॉरेस्ट्री सिस्टम इम्प्रूव द सॉइल फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज इट ऑल्सो मेंटेन्स द कंटेंट ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मैटर इन द सॉइल सो फॉर एंड द अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट द लीव द ड्राई लीव विच विच फॉल्स विच फॉल्स डाउन टू द सॉइल दे क्रिएट अमेज दे फॉर्म्स अमेज ऑन द सॉइल विच इज़ वेरी गुड फॉर द ऑर्गेनिक कंटेंट एज वेल एज द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सॉइल एज इट ऑल्सो रिड्यूज द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ फर्टिलाइजर नीड्स वी डजेंट नीड्स द फर्टिलाइजर इन दैट अमाउंट वॉट वी रिक्वायर्ड अर्लियर टू गेट द हायर एल सो वाई अडोप्टिंग ऑल दीज प्रैक्टिस ऑल दीज मैथड्स वी कैन रिड्यूज द यूज ऑफ फर्टिलाइजर एंड वी कैन वी विल बी डिपेंडेंट मोर ऑन द ऑर्गेनिक फर्टिलाइजर सच एज मैन्यूर्स एंड ऑल दीज सो दिस विल अफेक्ट अवर एनवायरमेंट लेस एंड लेस एंड इट ऑल्सो इनक्रीजेज द सॉइल न्यूट्रियट ऑफ द सॉइल द मैनेजमेंट इज गुड if we uh, practice all these types of uh, phenomena or the process or the methods to manage our soil so graminovore the grasses which are eaten by some animals like like in this picture the kangaroo is eating fawdi horizi pack mat clade graminoid what is graminoid so graminoid is a herbaceous plant with the grass like morphology what is graminoid graminoid is a plant herbaceous plant which has the morphology like grass elongated culms what is culms culms we say uh, in the term of botany uh, culms is denoted uh, or the culms def is defined as stem okay so elongated culms is found in a graminoid with a long and blade like leaves they are contrasted to forbs so what are the forbs forbs are the, those plants uh, which are non woody perennial uh, but uh, uh, you may say the flowering plant which is non woody perennial okay non woody perennial plant which gives flower so they are called the forbs herbaceous plants without grass like features so these are the herbaceous plant which are the, which are which are not grass but they are have the grass like features okay so this is graminoid thank you friends for watching the video tutorial and don't forget to like and share the video if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe it now and do share it with your friends thank you